Ho Chi Minh thought emerged as a profound ideological framework during Vietnam's struggle for independence and socialism. Ho Chi Minh, a revered figure in Vietnamese history, played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's destiny. Drawing upon marxist leninist principles, Ho Chi Minh thought provided a strategic and ideological compass for the Vietnamese people as they fought against their foreign occupation and pursued their path towards national liberation. This video aims to explore the core principles and enduring contributions of Ho Chi Minh thought, offering insights into its significance with the broader Marxist discourse and its transformative impact on Vietnam's journey towards independence and socialism. The post-World War II era marked a period of significant geopolitical shifts and decolonization movements across the globe. In the case of Vietnam, the country had long endured the yoke of French colonial rule, but with the weakening of colonial powers after the war, opportunities for liberation emerged. It was during this time that Ho Chi Minh thought began to take shape as a guiding ideology for the Vietnamese people. Inspired by the success of socialist revolutions and the principles of self-determination, Ho Chi Minh thought emerged as a framework that combined Marxist-Leninist ideology with the specific conditions and aspirations of the Vietnamese struggle. Marxist-Leninist ideology played a profound role in shaping Ho Chi Minh thought. Ho Chi Minh, a dedicated Marxist and student of Leninist principles, recognized the significance of class struggle, anti-imperialism, and the role of the working class in the struggle for liberation. However, he also acknowledged the need to adapt these principles to the concrete realities in Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh thought encompassed the fusion of Marxism-Leninism with the national liberation movements, emphasizing the importance of a united front, agrarian reform, and the empowerment of the masses as central tenets of the struggle. Ho Chi Minh's leadership stands as a cornerstone of Vietnamese struggle for independence and socialism. As a revered figure, Ho Chi Minh provided visionary leadership that galvanized the Vietnamese people in their fight against colonial oppression. He led the establishment of the Viet Minh, a broad-based coalition that united various forces dedicated to national liberation. Under his guidance, Vietnam waged a relentless struggle against French colonialism and later against American intervention, ultimately leading to the triumph of the Vietnamese people in 1975. Ho Chi Minh thought provided the ideological foundation for this struggle, emphasizing the principles of national self-determination, socialism, and the need for a united and disciplined revolutionary movement. The significance of Ho Chi Minh's leadership and his embodiment of Ho Chi Minh thought continue to reverberate in Vietnam's history, as he remains an iconic figure who shaped the nation's path towards independence and socialism. Ho Chi Minh thought distinguishes itself from other Marxist ideologies through several key principles that reflect the specific context and aspirations of the Vietnamese people, such as its emphasis on national liberation, advocacy for socialist path of development, and the commitment to the principles of self-determination, democracy, and social justice. Ho Chi Minh thought recognizes the struggle for independence from colonial oppression is a fundamental precondition for achieving social and economic progress. It places great importance on fostering unity among diverse social classes and ethnic groups within Vietnam to create a cohesive force capable of resisting external domination. Ho Chi Minh thought also recognizes the need for a tailored approach to socialism that takes into account Vietnam's historical, cultural, and economic circumstances. It emphasizes the application of Marxist principles within the Vietnamese context, taking into consideration the country's agrarian nature and the role of the peasants in the revolutionary process. Ho Chi Minh thought upholds the rights of nations and peoples to determine their own destinies free from foreign intervention. It promotes the establishment of a democratic society where the people have an active role in decision making and the pursuit of social justice. It is no doubt that Ho Chi Minh made notable contributions to Marxist theory. These intellectual contributions were shaped by his practical experiences as a revolutionary leader. 
whose writings and speeches provided strategic insights and practical guidance for revolutionaries, emphasizing the importance of national unity, the role of the masses, and the necessity of an armed struggle in achieving independence and social progress. Ho Chi Minh thought also emphasized the need for disciplined vanguard parties to lead the revolutionary struggle. He highlighted the importance of cadre education, ideological training, and maintaining close ties with the people. Through his emphasis on the unity of theory and practice, Ho Chi Minh thought provided a framework that synthesized Marxist principles with the concrete realities of Vietnam's revolutionary struggle, contributing to the development of a distinct ideological approach now known as Ho Chi Minh Thought. Ho Chi Minh Thought has faced various criticisms, and from a Mao's perspective, it is necessary to address these criticisms in order to present a more nuanced understanding. One of the most common criticisms is the alleged authoritarianism and suppression of political dissent. However, it is crucial to recognize that Ho Chi Minh's leadership was primarily driven by the objective of preserving national unity, overcoming colonialism, and building a social society. The revolutionary struggle in Vietnam faced numerous challenges, including external aggression and internal sabotage. Ho Chi Minh's approach aimed to safeguard the gains of the revolution and protect the interests of the working class and the broader masses. While there may have been some limitations on political dissent, Ho Chi Minh's leadership also emphasized the participation and empowerment of the masses through mass organizations, such as the Vietnam General Confederation of Labor and the Vietnam Women's Union, which both played an integral role in shaping policies and decision-making processes. You can't punch someone in the face and blame them for putting their gloves up. In this case, you can't invade and terrorize a nation and blame them for authoritarianism. Another criticism is the supposed lack of pluralism and limited political freedoms. However, it is important to understand that Vietnam confronted a complex and protracted struggle against foreign occupation and internal counter-revolutionary forces. During this period, the focus was on nation-building, social and economic development, and consolidating the gains of the revolution. While political pluralism may have been limited, Vietnam underwent gradual political reforms over time. The Vietnamese government has made efforts to expand political participation, enhance civil society engagements, and promote dialogue and consensus building. It is crucial to consider the specific historical circumstances and the progress made in balancing political stability with the aspirations for greater democratic participation in Vietnam's ongoing development. Another misleading claim is of economic shortcomings and inefficiencies under Ho Chi Minh's leadership. However, we should acknowledge the significant achievements and advancements made under Ho Chi Minh's leadership. Vietnam implemented comprehensive agrarian reforms, redistributing land to peasants and improving rural livelihoods. The country made significant strides in industrialization, with the development of key industries and infrastructure. Education and healthcare were prioritized, leading to improvements in literacy rates and public health outcomes. While challenges and inefficiencies may have existed, it is no wonder when Vietnam was invaded and then sanctioned for turning into a system that was responsible for these inspiring advancements. By addressing these common criticisms from Mao's perspective, a more comprehensive understanding of Ho Chi Minh thought can be achieved. In conclusion, Ho Chi Minh Thought has played a pivotal role in Vietnam's history and has left a lasting impact on the global Marxist discourse and the pursuit of national liberation. Throughout this video, we have explored the core principles of Ho Chi Minh Thought, highlighting its emphasis on national liberation, socialist development, and social justice. We have also addressed some common criticisms from a Maoist perspective, refuting allegations of authoritarianism, limited political freedoms, and economic shortcomings. Ho Chi Minh's leadership and his ideological framework have led to successful liberation struggles, the establishment of an independent socialist state in Vietnam, and remarkable socio-economic progress. Furthermore, Ho Chi Minh thought has influenced international communist and national liberation movements inspiring struggles against imperialism and serving as a beacon of hope for oppressed peoples around the world. 
as we reflect on the continued relevance of Ho Chi Minh thought in contemporary Marxist discourse, it is evident that his ideas continue to shape and guide the pursuit of national liberation and social justice in the face of global challenges. I invite my viewers to watch my video on Hodgism for a deeper understanding of another important strand of Marxist thought. Or how about my video on Maoism or Juche? Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.